This is a Rotke Mods video. Hello, I'm Greg Rotke of Rotke Mods, and welcome to episode 32 of my Mac Pro series. In this episode, I will show you how to download a El Capitan disk image. This is a fully functional El Capitan disk image and will allow you to just transfer the image straight to a drive and boot straight up. This is a 10.11.6 install and you may have to install security updates but of course you can just do that through the App Store and you will not have to worry about the boot.efi file being replaced more than likely. The security updates do not tend to replace that file. Only major version changes and that doesn't always happen either. And of course, 10.11.6 is probably the last version of El Capitan. So there should be no more worries about the boot.efi file being replaced. Now, this is an extension off of episode 4 of my Mac Pro series. And like I said in episode 4, this should work for any 32-bit EFI Mac. The thing is, you really need to use Mac Post Factor to use the drivers to make the mouse and other USB things work on those Macs. This image is 100% compatible and will automatically boot up on the Mac Pro 1.1 slash 2.1 and is meant more for that than any other 32-bit EFI Mac. Also, this image comes with a recovery drive included on it, and that recovery drive is also 100% compatible and also already boots up. So the only thing you have to do is transfer this image straight to your Mac Pro's disk, and it will automatically work. Now, this image is 100% safe. It will start you up in the setup menus which you would see right after installing El Capitan or any other OS X. So you can set up your Mac fresh from there. I will 100% stake my reputation on this image to show you that it is 100% safe and though I am not telling you who made this image, I will say it is a very reputable person who did it and there is no malicious intent on this image. So it is 100% safe. Anyway, to download this image you will need to go to this link right here which I'll put in the description. And once you have it downloaded you can follow episode 4 which you can click this link right here to see where I show you how to do that. Now I will show you real quick what it will look like once you have the image installed and it boots up. Now as you can see I have put the image on an external FireWire drive and here is the wire going straight from the drive to the Mac Pro to show you that this is real. Right now I have my boot menu up and as you can see the drive is right here. Both the recovery and the El Capitan drive work 100% straight from downloading it. You just have to put the image onto the drive and it will boot up like this. Of course this will be sped up for the sake of the video speed. And here's what you will see once it boots up. As you can see, this is the setup menu. You can set up this Mac just like any other Mac. And if you have another drive, like your line drive already in your Mac, you can use the transfer feature on the Mac to transfer your settings and applications and whatnot from your line install into your El Capitan install to just be back where you were with your line install. And of course, I would recommend still keeping your line install, but your El Capitan will be set up just like any other normal Mac that supports El Capitan. 
Anyway, so that is the end of this video. Thank you for watching. This has been a Rutke Mods video.